right? Good morning. Today's lesson, lesson 4.8, multiplying with 8, starting on page 169. Our essential uh, question is, what strategies can you use to multiply by 8? Now, remember, the easiest strategy is to just memorize your math facts for 8. But what if I don't know my 8s? I need to have some type of way of solving this problem, these type of problems. So a scorpion has eight legs. How many legs do five scorpions have? So we have eight legs on a scorpion and we have five scorpions. So scorpion has eight legs. What are we asked to find? How many legs do five scorpions have? So, one way we can multiply by 8 is to use the concept of doubles. <clears throat> because 8 is an even number, I can split it into two sets of 4. 4 plus 4. So, 5 times 8 is the same as 5 times 4 doubled. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 doubled is 40. 20 plus 20 is 40, so 5 times 8 is 40. So 5 scorpions have 40 legs. That seems easy enough. All right, you or we can use a number line to show 5 times 8 or 5 jumps of 8. So we start at 0, and we jump 8. And we jump 8 more, which will be 2, 4, 6, 8. So we'd stop at 16. Then we go 2, 4, 6, 8. We'd stop at 24. 2, 4, 6, 8. We'd stop at 32. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4 jumps. We need one more jump of 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. And so 5 jumps of 8 is 40. 5 times 8 equals 40. <coughs> Describe two different ways you can use double to find 6 times 8. So this is an interesting problem. Because we could say 3 plus 3 times 8, which would equal 3 times 8 doubled. Or we could say 6 times 4 plus 4, which would be 6 times 4 doubled. Well, either way would, would help us solve that problem. <clears throat> so 3 times 8 is 24. 24 plus 24, 48. 6 times 4 is 24. And we just said 24 plus 24 is 48. Okay, a third way is we could use the associative property of multiplication. So here in this example, it says scorpions have two eyes on the top of the head. And usually two to five pairs along the front corners of the head. If each scorpion has six eyes, how many eyes would eight scorpions have? So 8 times 6, if we're going to use the associative property, what we can do is think of 8 as the product of 2 and 4. We notice that 2 and 4 are uh, easier factors to multiply than 8. We put them into smaller problems. So now we just go using the associative property. We could group 2 times 4 times 6 which is the same as saying 2 times 4 times 6. Okay, so in a sense, let's multiply 4 times 6 first, and we get 24, and now we have 2 times 24, which is 24 plus 24. And that would be 48. 
over here it says when you multiply with 8, will the product always be even? Yes, because if we think of it as the associated property and we're multiplying by 2 and 4, those are both even numbers. 4 is just doubled 2, so the product has to be even. All right, number one, explain one way you can find 4 times 8. Well, so we can go back and we're going to use one of our three methods. We can use doubles, we use a number line, or we can use the associative property. So you have to choose one of those ways to explain number one. So I think I'll use doubles. And so four times 4 equals 16 so 4 times 8 equals 4 times 4 doubled and so that's why we have 16 plus 16 16 plus 16 is 32 Eight, 3 times 8, so I could say 3 times 2 times 4, and I'm going to actually switch this, I'm going to say 3 times 4 times 2, and I'm going to group the 3 and the 4 together, and it gives me 12, and 12 times 2, is the same as 12 plus 12, which is 24. 8 times 2. Well, I'm just going to say 8 plus 8. So that's 16. 7 times 8 <clears throat> is the same as <clears throat> 7 times 4 double. So 7 times 4 times 2. The times 2 means to double this product. 7 times 4 is 28. Times 2 is the same as 28 plus 28. 8 and 8 is 16. Regroup as 1, 10, and 6, 1s. 2, 10 plus 2, 10s is 4, plus 1 more is 5. So 56. 9 times 8. We can write this as 9 times 4 times 2 use the associative property 9 times 4 is 36 times 2 36 plus 36 is 72 Number six, six times eight is the same as six times four doubled. So 24 plus 24, 48. Eight times 10, I know it has to end in a zero, so 80. Eight times three, we actually solved that, that's 24. One times eight is the identity property of multiplication, so that's just eight. 4 times 8 is the same as 4 times 4 doubled, so 16 plus 16, 32. 5 times 8 is the same as 5 times 4 doubled, 5 times 4 is 20, 20 plus 20, 40. 0 times 8 is a 0 property multiplication. So zero. Eight times eight. The same as eight times four doubled. And I know that eight times four is the same as eight times two doubled. So sixteen plus sixteen is thirty-two. So thirty-two plus thirty-two would give me sixty-four. Okay, 14. 6 times 8. We've solved that one already. We know that that's 48. 
8 times 2 is 8 plus 8, which is 16. 5 times 8, we've solved, which is 40. 3 times 8, we've solved, which is 24. 10 times 8 is 80. And 7 times 8 is 56. A chef is making five batches of potato salad. He needs eight cups of dressing for each salad. How many cups of dressing does he need? Five batches of eight. Five times eight, we know is 40. 40 cups of dressing. Okay, 21 on page 171. Use the table for 21 through 24. So let's look at our table. <clears throat> it says the average yearly rainfall in North American deserts. And we have four deserts. And this is the amount of rain in each of those deserts. All right, so about how much rain falls in the Chihuahuan Desert in six years? Explain how you can use doubles to find the answer. So we'd have six years, every year, eight inches. So it would be six times four. Doubled. So 24 plus 24, 48 inches. In two years, about how many more inches of rain will fall in the Sonoran Desert than in the Chihuahuan Desert? So there's a couple of ways you could solve this. <clears throat> we could figure out the difference per year. So Sonoran is nine inches per year. Chihuahuan is eight. So we could just go nine, take away eight, is one. So there's a difference of one inch of rain per year. You can go one times two to get two inches. The other way we can do that is to have two problems. We could have two times eight and two times nine. Okay. So the two would represent the two years. Two times eight, 16. And two times nine is 18. And then we could subtract and we get Two. So. <clears throat> Look back at exercise 22. Write and show how to solve a similar problem by comparing two different deserts. All right, so so we're going to look at this and say in two years, about how many more inches of rain will fall? And this is where you're going to choose two different deserts from the table to compare. We'll fall in the Great Basin and in the Mojave Desert. So something like that. <clears throat> how can you find out how can you find about how many inches of rain will fall in the Mojave Desert in 20 years so we'd have 20 times 4 hmm well I know it's an even number but I know that I can also do 20 times 2 doubled. And 20 times 2 is the same as 20 plus 20. So 
So 40 times 2 is the same as 40 plus 40. So 80 inches of rain. All right, 25 A through D. Select true or false for each multiplication sentence. 3 times 2 times 4 is 24. Well, if I switch this around using the commutative property, I could then group 3 times 4. And 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 12 is 24, so that's true. 4 times 8 is 32. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 16, yes, that's true. 7 times 8 is 72. No, that's false. 7 times 8 is 56. 2 times 5 times 8 is 8. 5 times 8 is 40. 40 plus 40 is 8. So, yes, that's true. Okay, page 72. All right, there are 90 species of scorpions that live in the United States. Only three sp species of scorpions live in Arizona. They are the Arizona bark scorpion, the desert hairy scorpion, and the stri striped tailed scorpion. And then it gives us some facts about scorpions. It says scorpions are between one and four inches long. They mostly eat insects. They glow under ultraviolet light. They have eight legs for walking. They have two long, claw-like pincers used to hold their food. And they have a curved tail held over their body with a stinger on it. So it says, how many species of scorpions do not live in Arizona? So let's go back to the beginning here. It says there's 90 species that live in the United States. Only three live in Arizona. So the ones that do not would be 90 minus 3. Oh, yeah, that one we just count backwards, right? 90, 89, 88, 87. 87 species do not live in Arizona. Students saw eight scorpions. Write multiplication sentences that can help you find how many pincers and legs the eight scorpions had. <clears throat> Alright, so we have eight scorpions. It has eight legs and it has two long fall like pincers. So eight times two for the pincers. And for the legs, we have eight times eight. So we know 8 times 2 is the same as 8 plus 8, 16. And 8 times 8 is the same as 8 times 4, double. 8 times 4 is 32. 32 plus 32, 64 legs, 16 pincers. So how many pincers and legs they have? It would be 64 plus 16 for a total of 80 legs and pincers. Three scorpions were in the display with ultraviolet light. Eight groups of Eight groups of four students saw the display. How many students saw the glowing scorpions? Eight groups, each group had four. Eight times four. Eight times four is the same as eight times two, doubled. Eight times two is 16. So 16 plus 16, 32. Okay, so that's it for lesson 4.8. Again, use your textbook to help you with your online independent practice. Use the video also to help. 
if you really get stuck, you can stop and ask me. Tomorrow we'll work on multiplying with nine.